Welcome to First Grade Math. This is a U.S. First Grade Math playlist. The book I'm using is Go Math Grade 1 by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. You can buy it as one big book or you could buy it as two separate volumes. Mine is two separate volumes where the first volume covers chapters 1 through 5, volume 2 covers 6 through 12, there should be a total of 734 pages. And there's a fox cub on the front cover. It's a copyright of 2015, and it's paperback. It's consumable. This is the cover. See the fox cub? You don't need this book for the playlist. Unless you want to follow along, you can follow lesson by lesson. We're going to learn basic math concepts that are covered in any first grade math book. You can even use the first grade Silver, Burdett, and Ginn path for, to math success, but the lessons will be in a slightly different order. Like, I noticed when it's talking about three add-ends, it's farther back in the Silver, Burdett book than it is in the Go Math book, okay? I just like the Silver, Burdett one. It's an older copyright because each chapter has a removable story that pertains to the topic of the chapter. And the cover looks like this. It's red. And then there's a very short story that with perforated pages you can remove and staple together and they're very cute. There's actually a story like this in the very beginning of the Go Math book but this one has stories for each chapter, okay? So, you can use either book, this Go Math book, or you can use the Silver, Burdett, and Ginn book. The same topics are covered, just like I said, they might be in a slightly different order. So for the Go Math book, each chapter begins with a Show What You Know and Vocabulary Builder pages. There's also a game page and Vocabulary Builder cards that you can cut out and use. There's a picture glossary in the back along with a list of the Common Core State Standards. This is what we're going to learn. In Volume 1, it covers addition concepts and strategies, subtraction concept and strategies like counting on or counting doubles, and addition and subtraction relationships like fact families and how you can use addition to help subtract. In Volume 2, we're going to learn about count and model numbers to 110, compare numbers with a less than, greater than, or equal to sign, two-digit addition and subtraction to 100. We're going to talk about measurement and length and time to the hour and half hour. We'll get into the minutes in second grade. We're going to learn about how to represent data with bar graphs and tally charts and three-dimensional shapes like cubes and cones, and two-dimensional shapes like circles, triangles, and squares. And the students should already know how to write numbers to 20 or more and count to 100. And it would be very helpful if they could identify the number when they saw it. When they see a number 5, do they know that it's a 5? When they see a 15, do they know it's a 15? Okay? So let's get started. Welcome to First Grade Math, and I hope you find this playlist very useful. See you next video. We're going to talk about how to use pictures to add. Bye.